Yeah, okay. Uh, I wanted to ask Tim from your vantage point because I know the talk in boxing right now is obviously the whole Crawford Spence. You get asked a million questions about this. I don't really want to ask much about that. I wanted to kind of ask more so like when you have a big fight like this from the from the fighter standpoint, because you know us fans we get impatient. You know we start getting upset and we want the fights to happen right away. How what goes into these negotiations and why is it so hard to make a fights like Crawford versus Spence? Because you, I mean, I know you had the fights with Pacquiao; they were in-house fights, but but why do you ego, think it's man. so hard? The hardest thing is, is ego. Both of guys ego. Um, you know, when these negotiations, you first you got to have the first split. You got to understand like the money is is probably the most most important thing. Each guy got to be happy with the amount of money that they're making. Uh, and then you put egos on top of that. You got to understand that Terrence Crawford's been around for many, many, many years, bro. Uh, he's had 18, excuse me, 16, 16 uh, world championships. He's been in 16 world championship fights um, or title fights, I should say. Uh, Earl Spence has been in six. Just letting you know right now, six, I believe. Um, so he has a ton of experience. He was an undisputed champion. He's coming in. He feels he's the number one fighter in the world. He feels that, hey, I, this is what I this is what I'm worth. Then you have Spence on the other side. Well, I fought all the best welterweights. You mm -hmm. know, I have three straps. You know, I feel that I'm better than you. He's gonna want. He's gonna want his his share. His the lion's share, I would say. So yeah. once you get past that, then everything else is pretty much simple, man. Everything else is pretty much simple. You got to think about the tickets. <laughs> you got to think about hotel rooms. You got to think about flights. Uh, all that stuff is a part of the contract as well. Um, you got to think about the site as well. Where is this fight going to happen? Is it going to be on neutral territory? Or is it going to be, you know, is Spence going to get it? You got to think about the pay-per-view revenue as well. You know, how much money am I going to be making on the pay-per-view? You yeah. know, how much money am I going to be getting up front? Because you have a guy that has like $20 million, right? He has a $20 million guarantee. He don't get the $20 million up front. He'll get maybe five, six, seven million dollars up front. And then he has to wait to the, for the pay-per-view to come in to be able to accumulate the rest of that money. Yeah, on the, on the back end. On the back end, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So a lot of times, like for me, I wanted my money up front. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care about pay-per-view. <laughs> I didn't care about it. I was like, bro, I want my guarantee. Just high. give me a lump sum. Give me, give me a big lump sum. Let's call give it a day. Give me my guarantee high. So like for the first yeah. pack-out fight, I remember getting five. Five, five million, right? Mm -hmm. So I got the five million dollars, and then with the promoter, with Pack Out, they gave me five dollars on every pay per view after a certain amount, and I think it was like, I think it was like seven hundred thousand after seven hundred thousand buys. But see where they get you is USA buys. Oh, uh, USA buys. That's what they count get. all those buys from the Philippines that he. Yeah, you know. <laughs> they don't count all of that. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful with that. Is USA buys? I didn't know that at the time. So I'm like, okay, five million dollars, five dollars after seven hundred, no problem. Well, I don't think it sold. You know, seven hundred US. So I only made five million dollars. I didn't get anything on the back end, which is fine. Five million dollars, five million dollars. Yeah. So once I learned that, I'm like, okay, the promoter's not stupid. One, neither is the net. The the, the next the network is not stupid either. They know exactly what number is going to hit before it even happens. They know. What it's <laughs> so that's why they write certain numbers into the contract. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, bro. So you got to be careful with that. Um. So, but these are this is the things that go through. That, that go into, you know, making these big, big fights, man. Um, and even go as far as who's going to walk out first. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm telling you, ego, bro. I'm, I'm walking out second. The champion normally walks out second. Well, it's a status thing. Yeah. Who's getting yeah. the red corner? You know, the red corner <laughs> is literally what I get. You know what I mean? Like, you fight over little things like that, man. Um, so... But it's 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 all understandable, man. Uh, it's all what these guys feel comfortable with. It takes some time, people. Uh, this Spence fight and Crawford fight will get done. Uh, just gotta be patient, man. Be patient. Yeah. Because when it does happen, dog, I'm telling you, the joint gonna sell out within minutes. I think. I'm telling you. Yeah. This yeah. fight is gonna sell out within minutes.